<laughs> it's been about a year since I wrote this piece. I wrote this piece uh, shortly after the election last November, and it is entitled Transsexual Love Dreams on the Inauguration of Trump. Why does he love me? Why do I want him cradling my body in his arms? Why do I constantly crave his skin pressed against mine? Why am I terrified of fucking it up? Why don't I believe him when he says my body is femina? Why can't I let it go? Why do I want to know who he really wants to fuck? What if I were the last trans woman on earth? What does it mean to love him till his mama loves me too? What if I stay the same after he's changed? What if karma is a broken heart? A trans femme's guide to dating, or how to marry him under the pretense that you'll promise to get a pussy soon as that tax return clears. <laughs> <laughs> or how to fuck bottoms who love that tranny stick but want to keep their chin straps and their John Legend albums. <laughs> or why does every man in my DMs want to smoke me out on Kush or crack or anything to make me forget I'm alive and deserving of love. The meth, the cocaine, the marijuana, the taste of chlorine in my nose, the smell of vodka soaking my tongue, the sound of auntie playing in the background as my pussy is fucked raw and wet. The morning I hear about the pulse slaughter, I'm hung over and off the grid in the woods. I don't learn the full horror until I return to civilization in my apartment, blazed by summer sun, a shitty box air conditioner, sputtering cold air. I read the 49 names in between texts from tricks, asking when they can breed my ass again. It was then I chose to remove my body, my mind, and my heart from these men. I decided that my happiness was paramount to their orgasms. I began to accept that their sadness, their self-loathing, their shame did not have to transfer inside me. Who wanna pat this puss? Who wanna suck this cock? Who wanna pretend they ain't see me, ain't know me, ain't fuck me? Who wanna order me a drink at the bar, roll up shots, bring me home blacked out, limbs limp, easy to fuck and swallow up like last call, but you broke, so let's just run and hope they lose. Who wanna eat this ass? Who wants to teach me how to fire a sniper rifle? Who wanna hold me when it's cold? Who wanna kiss my face and tell me I'm gorgeous while I'm sleeping? Who wanna come inside me and pretend I'm a get prego? Who wanna pinch my nipples and make me moan? Who wanna ask me for one last fuck before they move to Denver because I'm the only tranny they're ever gonna love? Mm. Another trans woman has killed herself, and so 2016 ends where it began. When Bryn Kelly hung herself in New York City, and Nooney Norwood was shot to death, and Brandy Bledsoe's skull was bashed in, and Jazz Alford bled to death in a hotel in Birmingham, and Crystal Edmonds was shot execution style, and Titi's throat was slit on the west side of Chicago, and Lexi Saronin was found floating in a lake reservoir, and Raylan Thomas died begging for her mama to hold her, and Erica Tianera is post-mortem misgendered in El Paso, and Sky Mokabe's body is found dumped in a parking lot, and Daniqua Dodds dies after nine days on life support with a bullet wound in her neck. And Goddess Diamond is bludgeoned and immolated in an abandoned car outside New Orleans. And Amos Bede is murdered. And Mercedes Successful is murdered. And Simon Bush is murdered. And Akiona Blakeney is murdered. And Shante Isaac is murdered. 
and Courtney Davia Donson Yocum is murdered, and Candice Johnson is murdered, and Demarcus Stansberry is murdered, and Maya Young is murdered, and Veronica Banks Canyo is murdered, and Caden Clark is murdered by the police, and a massacre happens in Oakland, and Jasmine Sierra is dead, and Monica Leora is dead, and Dee Wiggum is stabbed 119 times. Mm -hmm. I have the right to be an insecure transsexual with daddy issues. <laughs> daddy, the cishet authoritarian state. Daddy, the body pushing raw gum inside guts while praying for God to die. Daddy, the Blue Lives Matter bumper sticker. Daddy, the bullet. Daddy, the look from strangers that lets, lets me know I disgust them. Daddy, the Bible. Daddy, Trump. Daddy, Pence. Daddy, reptilian monster Republicans masturbating to race riot pornography. Open tabs for hung raw shemail tops. Back page, Craigslist, plenty of TS ads searching for PNP party girls. Willing to host or meet at a roadside trucker motel to fuck on handheld cameras. Must have long hair or wig. Must wear heels. Must be a fully functional first top. Must like poppers. Must be soft, soft, soft. Daddy, the man who raised me. Who loves his grandbabies. Who got bad knees and shingles. Who always saves his pennies. Who carried me home wrapped in a pastel knitted yarn blanket who gave me his favorite Levi jean jacket, whose eyes will always be the bluest color on earth, who bows his head to pray before every meal, who lit fireworks into humid July skies, who still eats his food like a marine grunt, whose only vice was a 12 pack of Dr. Pepper, who called to tell me grandma was gone, who I only once witnessed weep the night he asked me if I wanted to become a woman. And when we look back and history books are written to replace the ones burned in the name of greatness, and we lay white rose wreaths on the tombs of our sisters, remember that we fought against the forces of fascism as the specter of fear was paraded in golden chariots across a global stage. We spit into the wrinkled lips and bulging white sacks under black glass eyes of our toddler king, we locked our bodies together in rainbow orgies for hours, days, weeks, pissing, fucking, and ejaculating in the hopes that our psychic sexual energy could kill the beast. We kissed on the dawn of an inauguration for grand wizards, neo-Nazi skinheads, neoliberal world banks, police unions, defense contractors, rabid coyotes, sit shit whiskered swine, crocodile smiles, sepsis-induced abortions, new apartheids, new Jim Crows, new drug wars, new conspiracy theories, new lynchings, for the old order of white genitals, for the Pledge of Allegiance, for the ghost of John Ashcroft, for the Book of Revelations, for the joy of bloodletting, for vampires eating vampires. We screamed with birth pangs of post-apocalyptic children building guerrilla rebellions, training femme queen operatives to assassinate Christian death cult leaders and white nationalist military junta generals, playing little pioneer tranny on the prairie, rendering animal fat and hashish crops into psychoactive organic lube and butt plug butters. We soaked American flags in gasoline and marched in the streets waving their flames. We cried and held each other against dark winds. We lit candles for trans femme cultural genocide. We summoned our ancestors with smoke, songs, drums. We fell in love and we won. Thank you.